the European Union in an effort to ease the burden on Greece and Eastern European countries caused by the influx of migrants said it will set up 100,000 places in reception centres in Greece and along the migrants' route through the Balkans. European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker said early Monday after an emergency summit Sunday in Brussels with several leaders of EU nations, including German Chancellor Angela Merkel and the leaders of non-EU Eastern European countries, that 50,000 places would be created in Greece and another 50,000 throughout the Balkans. Juncker said the reception places will be vital in providing shelter, registering the migrants and helping better manage the flow of the migrants. This is one of the greatest litmus tests Europe has ever faced, Merkel said Monday about the continent's migrant crisis, which some see as a border security problem and others view as a humanitarian challenge. Juncker issued a statement Monday with nearly 20 proposals, including a plan for the speedy exchange of information to coordinate efforts on processing the migrants through the various countries. The mini-gathering of Central and Eastern European leaders Sunday was sought by Chancellor Merkel, who has voiced concern for migrants as winter sets in. The meeting was the latest in a series of top-level EU meetings to find a unified approach on how to best deal with the thousands of migrants streaming into the EU every day. On Sunday, Croatia Interior Ministry spokesman Domagaj Jigilovic said a record 11,500 migrants entered the country Saturday the most in a single day since the flow of migrants began in mid-September. Police said the country has seen nearly 250,000 enter the country since then. Migrants turned to Croatia after Hungary erected a barbed wire fence along its border with Serbia. European Commission President Juncker called leaders of Austria, Bulgaria, Croatia, Macedonia, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Romania, Serbia, and Slovenia, plus refugee organizations involved, to attend a meeting in Brussels. Some EU lawmakers have complained that all states should attend the meeting and that France's absence in particular could limit progress on a plan. The challenge now is to slow down the flow of migration and to bring our external borders under control, Junker told Bild. We must also make it clear that people who arrive at our borders who are not looking for international protection have no right to enter the EU. Bulgaria, Serbia and Romania said they would close their borders if Germany or other countries shut the door on refugees. Serbian Prime Minister Aleksandar Vucic said Sunday Serbia would not put up any walls but suggested his country will not agree to be the only migrant stop if countries farther west close their borders. At the Brezis camp in Slovenia near the border with Croatia, UN refugee agency, Ankara, spokesman Babar Balish urged leaders to come up with a system to register and screen newcomers when they first enter Europe, rather than piecemeal along the way but also very important is to help neighboring countries where there are around 4 million refugees, Bullish said. These people don't need to take these risky journeys if there are legal pathways to come to Europe. The lack of a common policy is straining ties among European leaders, raising questions about the EU's future. Rights group Amnesty International said the 28-country bloc could not afford to end another meeting without an agreed plan. As winter looms, the sight of thousands of refugees sleeping rough as they make their way through Europe represents a damning indictment of the European Union's failure to offer a coordinated response to the refugee crisis, said John Dalhuizen, Amnesty's Director for Europe and Central Asia.